Uh, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a drill table, which looks like an Exelon file, into a valid Exelon file. The purpose of that is to convert it into Gerber so we can load it into our NetXG and create a 3D model of our board. When we look at this file, it looks a lot like a drill file, but it's missing a couple of important features. One is that instead of a valid header, it has comments. These semicolons represent comments. So all the whole sizes are defined as comments and not as a legitimate definition that a computer can read. So we'll have to fix that. The other main problem is that instead of at the beginning of every block of data uh, having a tool select, you simply just have the data. The program doesn't really understand that this should be a new tool, and if it is, what tool it should be. This is more of a table and less of an Exelon drill file, but we can fix that very, very easily. And what we're going to do is we're going to put at the beginning of every block of data a tool select command, a T and then a number. So the first tool will be T01. And then we're going to put the diameter. We see this is 10 mils and this is inches. So we'd better put 010 there. All right, now how do we find the next block? There is no tool command to search for, but there is the end of block command, which we'll search for. And that end of block is normally something like M00, M02. So we'll search for M0. That's where that block ends. So let's put our second tool command and let's define it as 0.012 and we'll just repeat this process always adding a tool command and its diameter i'll skip uh, down to the bottom you don't have to watch it all and finally the last one you can see there are two of those and then m30 tells the machine to stop so let's just save this as call this fixed and now we're going to open our drill to gerber translator and convert that into gerber We'll grab the fixed one, and now we've got to put in the parameters since they weren't in the header. Well, I had counted the number of places, and I believe it's 2.5, and it turns out our Gerber file is also 2.5. They're both in inches. Zero inclusion, I can use either leading or trailing because it actually had both in there, so I'll just select leading absolute. If we wanted to see the tools, you can see that once I put the tool command with a diameter, the program was able to read that and to figure out the proper tool size. So we've got all the tools question came up is what if I want to compensate well this would be the time to compensate let's say you want to make all of these diameters half a mil larger in order to account for the plating what you could do then is you could come here and you could add a five there and a one two three five there and a one two three five there and say one two three five so I've compensated for those first uh, four drill hole sizes that's going to be the value that will show up in the 3d and now I just click translate and now let's look at our Gerber data. So we'll go File, Open. We'll grab the one we just created, the fixed one. And there it is. Zoom in here. And if we want to know how big a flash is, we can go here to the query and click on it. And we can see that this is 0 0.010. And there's the extra 5 tenths of a mil that I added in compensation. So this is ready to go into the NetXG program. And it'll be used to generate the vias in our 3D design. 